This is a, a creation that was inspired by Excel is Fun's channel. Uh, what he was doing was doing a VLOOKUP for images. And he was doing it as, uh, as, as a data source. For instance, the image was on the very same line as the name that uh, the VLOOKUP was pulling from. Uh, being the person I am, I like to be innovative and I like to be very different. So if I see somebody do something one way, I like to do it totally different. But I have to give credit to uh, Excel is Fun because I, hadn't had, I didn't have an idea to do anything with images, especially not with Excel uh, and looking them up. But I was thinking about uh, a teacher that made a comment uh, in a chat room on how would I look up a student with Microsoft Excel. And so I thought this would be fun not to do for one individual's picture, but to do it for a classroom or maybe a work at, uh, environment. So what you see here is Tori John's class. Now those, um, let's just assume he has three students. And the, the, there are two squares and one red B. Those represent students pictures uh, because they're all objects. Uh, the object here to the far left is the classroom uh, symbol. So the, the red square, the yellow square, and the red B there, you would basically uh, replace those with images. Everything you see here is an object. The reason I can have, the reason I have text in this is because that is a text box. You can't do regular text into this uh, uh, procedure because it'll give you an error message. So everything is an object, whether it's a text box or word art or objects and shapes. Okay, now as you can see here, this is the drop down menu for the data that is pulling. I'm about to change it. Now we're in Brent, uh, uh, Brent Trice's classroom change it. I'm holding the camera. Once again back to Tori Johns and this is Mary Sanders class. Now notice in Mary Sanders class she has a lot more students so all of her rows and columns in her classroom are filled mostly. Um, there are 40 possibilities uh, for each class and you know every class is not the same so some will have less students, some will have more. So in Mary Sanders class she also has a comment. Notice it says hi everyone. Now with this procedure you would have to use VB script to have comments show and I don't want to use any VB scripts. Everything I do is pure uh, Microsoft Excel formulas only. So there's no VBA and there is no macros included. Uh, so that is a comment that, and I have it, uh, uh, the comment where you can have hide or show all the time. It's, I want it to show all the time because at, since this is an object or an image, it will not allow me to click on it. That's why at to the side here, there's a link. Whenever I change the name, a hyperlink. This in Mary's, the project for their classroom is Google. So the link takes you to Google. I'll click on it. Okay, as I click on it, Google opens up. Let's go to another one. Okay, Trent, uh, Brent Trice's class. Uh, I didn't want to do a lot of links because I think that would be like free advertising for these companies, and I don't think YouTube would go for that. But anyway, t take... Uh, Fake link to is the one for that one. But anyway, each class that you have would have a link next to it if it if they had a link at all. And you'd be able to click on that link to take you to whatever that project site is. And of course, you have each teacher's name embedded into the object uh, using a text box. And uh, you have shapes that represent images. So you would just replace those shapes, the bees and the squares and circles with real images. And as I said, there are 40 possibilities or, or 40 spaces for up to 40 students per class.
There are five classes. So here, now let's go over to the source. Here are the sources. Each of these are saved. Out. I'm highlighting it. As you can see, I named that Mary Sanders. And each one will select it like that and named. And that's how it's working. Instead of just doing a VLOOKUP based upon one individual's name, I do it based upon an array, which pulls everything within that array. Um, and you see how nice uh, this looks. It's because when I'm formatting it, I click on it. Come on. And I go up here to Format, Picture, and see these borders? As I move it across, you'll notice that they change. Anyway, this is the one that I chose. I like this one. Well, I hope that you've been inspired to try something new whenever you see something on YouTube. All right, thanks. Take care.